All right, so DaVinci Resolve 20 Public Beta 4 has just come out, and there looks like they released some pretty exciting stuff here. So let's go ahead, jump in, and go over it. So they have released some new options for the keyframe editor. For those of you that haven't seen my previous videos on DaVinci Resolve 20, this is my absolute favorite feature. Um, so they've added in a new flat mode for keyframes easing option to show clip handles for the curves editor and context click curve keyframes to quickly access easing options. All right. So I assume that this is something like the, um, the spline tab in the fusion page. All right. So what I mean by that, because I forgot to record this part, um, is that the spline tab in the fusion page where you can right click on everything and select the easing like outback cubic in and out cubic all with the click of the button and bring that over to the edit page but they've also added in some scripting api support for media pool clip to monitor growing file um, ai voice convert you can find it on the fairlight timeline context menu now DaVinci Resolve Remote Monitor app now supports Intel and AMD systems on Windows. Uh, they've added in some new updates to the subtitles feature. Uh, interpolated animated support for manually created and imported subtitles. Um, so beforehand in the previous updates, it looks like that you couldn't create the animations if they were your own subtitles that you added in DaVinci. You needed to use DaVinci's subtitles that they spit out from the transcription feature. And then they've added in um, AI IntelliScript now uses the script name. Not sure what it used before, but that's what it uses now. Uh, and then they just overall address a bunch of different issues that you guys might be having. They address something with the multicam smart switch um, for NVIDIA graphics cards, address an issue with the multi-text layer naming when deleting the text layer, incorrect countdown uh, pause for first voiceover in a session, um, some different cut page UI issues. Um, I know some of you guys have been experiencing some UI issues. Um, and weren't thrilled about that. So that's nice. Um, keyframe reset, not affecting keyframes in the clip handles. Okay. So that's definitely important. Um, issue changing source clip, source clip color from source timeline, uh, issue with arrow na key navigation in the media pool with custom sort issues with find in the media tool or media pool. Um, so yeah, they just issued a bunch of different, uh, bug fixes. It looks like they addressed incorrect, remove silence behavior for clips with audio channels set to none. I wonder if this is the bug that I was talking about with the, uh, remove silence feature in one of my other videos. Um, so yeah. They address something with the magic mask, which is super cool. But I want to jump back into this one because I'm super excited. Just like the keyframe features, I'm super excited to go check this one out. They've added in a new Swizzler tool to rearrange layers in the multi-layer uh, workflows. So I have no idea what this is or does, but super pumped because maybe just maybe this can be something in the future that can improve our workflow. So yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to subscribe and like, so that way more people can watch these videos and, uh, yeah. See you guys in the next one. Peace.